Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Cary Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and I have a really fun collection of fabric and a returning vendor to share with you today. First up, we'll do fabric. This is called Art Journal. It's by um, Janet Wecker Frisch, which you may recognize. Um, we get her collections every now and then. Art Journal collection is image-rich ephemera that was carefully chosen from the personal archives of Janet Wecker Frisch. Each pattern is well suited for collage and art quilting, fabric, journal making, and much more. And this is also by Riley Blake, just like yesterday's line. Now this piece, I do um, want you to get a feel for. This is a linen cotton blend. It's, I believe, 55% linen, 45% cotton, but I want you to kind of appreciate the drape on this. It has a really nice drape. I think it would be beautiful for like a tunic shirt or for some really fun summer pants um, and just interesting designs, obviously. Um, Janet Wicker Frisch has lots of really fun designs. And this is a 60 inch wide panel as well. So great for clothing construction. And then we have some regular um, cotton panels or cotton fabrics like we normally do. So this is one of the collection. Let me open that one up so we can get a good view of the repeat on that. There you go. And look over here. I don't know if you get the same ones. Yep, you do. I was going to say some of those butterflies have words on their wings. It's just kind of fun. And then um, I am a sucker for fabrics with words on them. So these look like postcards. I have not taken the time to read it. That would be fun as a quilt backing, I believe. That little thing's been deep and deep. And, um, and then we've got some musical pages. Let's see, we've got, I always like to read these things. We've got Love's Impromptu, Baby Clover, The Daisy. So interesting fabric, um, lots of options for things you can do with it. I think it would make really fun journal covers. And so you decide what you'd like to do with it. Next up, we have Deb's Duffels. Deb has been um, kind of a staple at our handmade markets in the past. And um, I'll read you. She has some details about her bags and some details about herself. So we'll look at the bags while I'm reading about her, and then I'll give you some details. Deb's Duffels and more started because she wanted to do something that she didn't have much time for when she was working. She's been a seamstress since she was in sixth grade. She took sewing classes during the summer and started making some of her own clothes. Well, now she's in, she enjoys shopping for clothes instead of making them and making bags. Um, she stumbled upon the bags browsing YouTube and decided it would be a great way to use her skills. It's also a wonderful outlet for her creativity. The first bag she made were duffels, so that's how the name Deb's Duffels came about. Deb is a master with zippers. You will find all kinds of zippers in Deb's bags, and this one's made out of cork. So let me give you some details on the bags. This is a blue-gray over-the-shoulder bag, great for an everyday bag, two pockets outside and four pockets inside, will keep you well organized. There's a recessed zipper here, and then you've got one, two, three, four pockets. Um, this bag can take you from spring all the way through fall, Deb says. And then bag number two, this is a cork, an all-cork crossbody bag. So these are the kind that you're designed to wear like this. <laughs> um, the cork is very whimsical and is great for spring and summer. The bag has a zippered pocket on the outside and one on the inside right here. It's big enough to hold a phone and wallet. And of course, the strap is adjustable. Uh, bag number three is great for travel with two pockets on one side and one pocket on the other side. Everything will be in its place. The tan part is cork and the rest is quilting cotton. This is also a crossbody bag with an adjustable strap and it can also be an everyday bag. I find the smaller my bags are, the less junk I carry with me. <laughs> so if you like small bags, she's got you covered and big bags. And then she has an all cork minimalist wallet that actually contains a coin purse in it. So it has a coin purse right here. Um, there are three credit card holders over on this side, and then a deeper pocket um, for dollar bills, and then you've got your coin purse all in one. That's pretty amazing. And then there's a little hidden pocket back here too. Very pretty colors also. I like that stitching design. 
And then her two giveaways are um, all cork wallets, also very minimalist in nature, three credit card holders, a pocket behind the card holders, great for receipts, and a pocket that is along the side. Look at that, there's another secret pocket, holds folded paper bills. So you have one, two, three, four, five, all in one little cork wallet. So these are Deb's two giveaways. Um, if you'd like to be entered to win one of the giveaways, we are giving away 60 things from our handmade artisans and crafters ahead of our handmade market. Um, to get into the running to win one of these guys, you just need to comment where you're seeing today's video, either Facebook or YouTube, and we will be drawing names on Tuesdays to determine um, who the winners are. I hope you have a great afternoon. Find some time to sew, find some time for yourself, and we'll see you back here from the shop tomorrow. Bye.